services and a liaison between client and client. Okay. So how do you think your educational background will help you in this job? Okay, well I have majored in sociology and psychology and as you know I'm sure that is the study of human interaction and so I feel like that especially would help um, kind of understand uh, better the interaction between clown and agent and also clown and other clown or clown and um, clown and uh, someone who um, is at an event. Right, you know, right. So. Whoever is exactly trying to get their so-called clown. Exactly. Um, nice. So uh, explain how you would work with coworkers that you are not familiar with. I think that that actually is one of my best qualities. I um, I tend to be really easygoing. It doesn't matter um, about anyone else's background or um, you know way that they act. I tend to get along with everyone, and so I feel like that wouldn't really be a problem for me. Um, but I also feel like communication is probably the best way to maintain a good relationship with coworkers. That's good. Um, okay. Uh, what kind of personality do you work best with and why? Um, hmm. I would say that I work best definitely with an easy, like, easygoing personality. I feel like that's um, probably the easiest type of person to work with, but they also have to be extremely driven and um, you know, know what they want and their goals and things of that nature. So what would happen if maybe like you get a person who is just really Uptight. Really uptight and it's really hard. Like, how would you kind of manage that? Yeah, um, I feel like as long as that person were to still be able to maintain uh, themselves in a professional way, or you know, get their own work done, there really wouldn't be a problem. And if for whatever reason um, they weren't carrying their own weight, then I think that communication, like I said previously, would be um, the best way to deal with it, just to let them know, you know, hey, I think that we're not really seeing eye to eye here, and if for whatever reason that didn't work, then I would go talk to a supervisor, most likely, and see if we could alleviate the situation. If you were assigned to do multiple tasks, tasks at once, what is your plan of attack to complete these tasks? Um, I think, personally, that from experience in college, I'm sure that we've all done, you know, the whole, well, I'm gonna start this, and then I'll start a little bit of this, and then I'll start a little bit of this, and you just get overwhelmed. So I've learned definitely um, in college to kind of attack one thing, get it done, and then move on to the next thing, and I think that that is the easiest, most stress-free way to uh, kind of finish what you need to get done. So, uh, going over your resume, you claim that you have a sense of humor yes. and you are comfortable stepping out of your own comfort zone. Yes. What are some specific examples I'm real curious? Um, well, as far as stepping out of my comfort zone, um, I have traveled abroad and I feel like that's probably one of the best uh, the best ways to step out of your comfort zone. You You're more like, what? Where have you gone? Um, I have been to France and Spain um, and Italy and Greece and Turkey. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, and especially with Turkey, I feel like that culture is just so vastly different from our own that, I mean, you you kind of have culture shock at first, but then you learn how to deal with it and um, yeah, definitely. So do you have like any like specific instances? Something that, that kind of stuck with you that you come back and you're like, oh, mom, dad, mm -hmm. oh, this was really weird. Yeah. Um, give me one second. That's Let me fun. rack my brain. <laughs> well, 
Um, when I was in France, I did a homestay with a French family, and they spoke no English. Um, and I know that I said that communication is an important variable in uh, interacting, but because I spoke so little French, um, we kind of had to rely on other methods to communicate and things of that nature. Um, and I feel like just the fact that I was able to push myself to get along with this family for 10 days when we didn't even like speak the same language, I think that that's a good testament as to um, being outside of the comfort zone. Good. So how do you tie, can you tie uh, your stepping out of your comfort zone with your sense of humor and drive to provide professional service? How would I tie stepping out of my comfort zone with providing professional service? As well as sense of humor. As well as sense of humor. Um, I don't know if you kind of understand. Yeah. Um, well, I feel like um, a sense of humor helps everything. Mm -hmm. It makes people comfortable. Um, and I think that stepping out of your comfort zone, if you have a sense of humor about it, it's going to make it a lot easier. Um, and then providing professional service. If you, I mean, obviously, being professional, I think, is the most important thing. Um, but if you can also accompany that with uh, a sense of humor to make the customer feel at ease, or um, whoever you happen to be dealing with, it's just going to benefit everyone. Nice. OK. Um, if I can have you for a little bit of mm -hmm. a minute, you could do uh, this exercise for me. Okay. It's really simple, nothing <laughs> went wrong at okay. it. Something to do. Like, uh, like, you know, like, you know, like, when you have, like, ball, like, when you see cycling and, and oh, I mean, like juggling, juggling and, yeah, and doing all kinds of like skill, okay. something that you would, you would not really normally be able to do, but, like, you see at a carnival, like, Got it. Got it. thing thing you think of when you hear the word clown? Um, well, in one word, I think of a red nose. But to go more in depth, I think of um, just an entertainer and someone, right. I mean, I feel like clowns have sort of this like misconception that they're like scary mm -hmm. and exactly. kind of creepy, but I don't think that that's the case. I really don't. Um, I think that you know, people who are driven to become clowns, they want to show people a good time and be an entertainer and um, just, you know, have fun. And that's the goal of what yeah. we're trying to do here. Yeah, definitely. Is to make sure that people don't get that wrong impression that clowns are scary or something. Yeah. <laughs> but um, anyway, do you have any questions for me? Um, I do, actually. Could you maybe describe, like, an average day of an agent, like what an agent right. would normally so, do? Right, so you basically are receiving calls mm -hmm. and 
as an agent, you're the middleman mm -hmm. between. So, so we have all the clowns that are that are on call, and the, in the different categories, and the pe the people that call you, the customers that call you, it's your job to make sure you, they connected with the right clown for the right event for mm -hmm. the you know the specific category of the type of clown, and that's basically what your job is, okay. and to Sounds make sure. Good that the communication between clown and, clown and customer right. is good. real smooth. Okay, sounds great. All right, well, thank you for coming in, and our company prides itself in employing quality agents, and I believe you owe a strong candidate for this position. Thank We're you. We're going to discuss and review your resume slash interview and contact you within the next month. Okay, sounds great. Thank you so much. You as well. Thank you.